How to reduce costs when building automations. I know I said yesterday and in other videos that my channel is mostly about implementation and application and not about installations, but uh, many of you asked me to create um, tutorials about how we can use local LLMs in Autogen or Crew AI or Open Interpreter. And I decided to make this short video and share with you guys um, the way to run Autogen, Open Interpreter and Crew AI with LM Studio. I decided it is also relevant for me because last month my OpenAI API uh, bills were pretty high and I realized that when I'm just testing and messing around with different tools, it's not necessary to use the OpenAI API um, calls because it is more expensive. So I can obviously choose to use like different models by OpenAI or these uh, local alternatives. In general, for production or when you already have uh, the tool uh, running decently, I think it's a no-brainer. You should usually use OpenAI because the performance of the GPT-4 model is uh, way more, is, is superior to all the alternatives, even Mistral, etc. But when you're just messing around or if you have a use case in which some of the agents don't need to be like really high quality to produce really high quality output, using LM Studio or a local LM might make a lot of sense. So um, let's get started. First thing you have to do is, is install LM Studio. You just come here, you install LM Studio based on your operating system. Um, in my case, it is Windows. Once you, you install LM Studio, um, you can select which models you would like to download. I will show you the alternative uh, in a moment. So you come here and you select, you write down, let's say Mistral. Then you're going to get a list of all the models. I usually sort by most downloads or most likes. So in this case, the Open Hermes Mistral 7B is a uh, very popular, uh, a lot of downloads, a lot of likes. And over here you have different files. Um, these are basically different versions of this model. Some are a bit heavier, so they are going to produce better output, but they are going to take um, longer to generate the output. And they might fail if you don't have a very strong um, GPU or strong computer. Once you decided about which model you would like you just hit the download button and it's going to start downloading and you will have all the models available over here the next step would be to come here um, you can start chatting with the model but basically what i usually do the next step assuming you want to use lm studio as a server you just select the specific model you wait for it to load and then you hit the start uh, server button. And at the moment, once you did this, it's as if you're running, um, you have, a, you actually have a local LLM on your um, computer and you are going to use this link very often. Now we covered the LM studio uh, part. Now let's move forward to the next step. Let's say we want to run Autogen um, with a local LLM. So assuming we want to run log, uh, Autogen Studio, um, I created a video about this yesterday. So the next step would be after you've installed Autogen Studio, I activate the environment. And if you want to see how to install Aut uh, Autogen Studio, just look up my video from yesterday. Uh, it's called Autogen Studio 2.0. Then I st start the studio. It's going to start in a moment. I will open it in my Chrome browser. And from there on, you just need to set up the model. So this is the Autogen Studio backend. We have the skills section, the agent section, and the workflow section. What you do, you come here, you select models, new model, then you assign a name. You don't need to write an API key, so you just do 
two quotation marks, and then you just copy the base URL. Here's an example. So I call this a local model, two quotation marks, and this is the link that you need to copy. I will leave this in the video description, and then you save. And once you have this server running, and you set up the model over here, you can use AutoGL Studio with your local LLM. So let's say I want to create, a, and I, in this case, for the sake of the example, I already created a new agent. It's an agent that I also used yesterday. But in opposing to yesterday, in which I used a GPT-4 for this agent, I just added the local model. So basically you come here and you have all the models all the alternatives that you have available here in the model section, you, you have over here. So in this case, I added the local model. I hit the OK button. And as soon as I create a workflow, um, and when this specific agent is being called, it is going to utilize <coughs> this specific uh, model from LM Studio. Now, this is very helpful. Let's say you have a very strong GPU and you don't want to use OpenAI. You can download a specific model. Let's say you want to code something. So you can download a specific model that can be pretty heavy, a coding related model like Code Wizard. And if you have an agent that is supposed to be to do like only development work or planning of code or, or criticizing code, you can assign to this uh, agent only this specific model, which is um, very productive and successful with code related tasks. So. This is mainly relevant if you have like a good GPU, but this is a nuance that you should be, be aware of. If uh, you have a good GPU and you want to assign specific models to specific agents, that could be cool. Um, although most of the people, most of the use cases that I've seen, people are just using uh, generic, um, mostly Mistral models, but I'm just sharing with you so you know. So we got this covered. This is how you run Autogen Studio with a local LLM. Here again is the screenshot. Next, Open Interpreter. So for those of you who don't know Open Interpreter, I covered uh, Open Interpreter in a few of my videos in the channel. At the moment, this is uh, the framework that I like the most. It is it's it's it constantly over delivers, and I find it to be like the most powerful and relevant. A framework in opposing to core AI and Autogen, which I love. I haven't, I wasn't able to use them for very sophisticated use cases yet. Um, it might be limitations of uh, the LLM, limitations limitations of the framework, and it is also very likely that it is limitations of my knowledge. But uh, in opposing to them, Open Interpreter. Uh, is really helpful. You can do a lot of stuff using Open Interpreter. You can uh, analyze files locally. You can run automations. It is a very um, powerful tool. Check out my other videos about Open Interpreter. Anyway, long story short, if you want to run Open Interpreter with LM Studio, you just start LM Studio like we did uh, over here. You open the server, and Open Interpreter can be used uh, using Python or uh, using free, uh, via the command line. So let's open it via the command line. You pip install interpreter. That's all you have to do in order to install open interpreter. And then in, instead of running, uh, like setting an API key and then running interpreter, this is how you would use open interpreter if you would like to use open AI. Instead, you just copy this uh, open interpreter dash dash local. And it is going to open open interpreter. And since you added this dash dash local, it is going to use the local LLM that is being served via LM Studio. Um, let's see what was the issue. So it has to be dash dash local. Not only one dash, two dashes. Let me change this because I want to upload this afterwards to the video description. And I want you guys not to encounter any issues. Uh, again, interpreter, what is the issue? 
Intel Patel. Let's see. Pip install. It worked before, so it's very interesting. Intel Patel, ignore invalid distribution. Let me see if there is something that I need to close. Let's close this conda environment, although it's not related. Maybe it, I was supposed to do only one dash and I was confused. Let's see. Our argument C context invalid in value. Let's check it. It, it worked for me like a few minutes before we started the video. Let's see what, what, what is the issue. Open interpreter, GitHub. Okay, open interpreter. Yes, it's dash dash local. So this is supposed to work. Not sure why it doesn't work. Let's see. Let's stop the server. Let's restart the server again. Okay, yes, so the issue was probably the fact that I had, um, I think, just an assumption, I'm, I might be just bluffing, but this is my hypothesis, that before uh, the autogen uh, environment was connected to the server and I had to stop the server reset it and then now it is working as you can see hello how are you uh, i'm sorry if this uh, wasted your time i'm not sure if uh, i will edit this out because some of you like to see problem solving um, so i will leave this and if many of you uh, in the feedback section section in the comment section tell me listen just give us the bottom line i will consider that but um, for the time being, I will leave this uh, Q&A in the video. Uh, you can see here um, the response from Open Interpreter. Again, it's not that Open Interpreter sucks. It's probably uh, a limitation in this specific case. I just downloaded um, a very sh small version of Open Hermes. So it's probably the LLM that is underperforming. Can you help me write a Python? snake game and as you can see in in lm studio um it is streaming the response and everything seems to be working let's move forward because uh, the main topic of this video isn't to mess around with open interpreter nor to mess around with uh, lm studio it's mostly about installing the frameworks uh, and running them locally so let's stop the server Let's close this uh, command line and let's move on to the next and last framework which I'm using very often these days and this is Crew AI. So um, in order to run Crew AI, you have here the documentation. Basically what you have to do, it's pretty simple. You can add this line to your uh, main code, because basically we are using a Langchain uh, extension or library, which is importing chat open AI. And this is basically allows you, as you know, Crew AI utilizes a lot of Langchain functions. Um, and this allows you to just call a specific server um, as if it was open AI. So in this case, you just add this on top of your file and next step would be to create this um, lines of code. You close them like this. So you assign the LM studio, chat open AI, then open AI API base URL. You assign this URL, which is the same URL that we used in Autogen. And this is the URL that you can take from here, from uh, LM Studio, 
And basically, um, after you set up this, you can assign this LLM to any agent in the crew that you would like. So it's pretty straightforward. They have examples over here. The documentation of the crew AI um, is amazing. So I will drop these uh, in the comment section as well, in the description as well. So basically this file tells you how to connect different LLMs to crew AI. So it elaborates that there are different types of connection. Uh, Olama is the recommended way to connect local LLMs, but Crew AI is compatible with any of the Langchain LLM components. So basically you have this explanation regarding how to integrate Crew AI with Olama. But if you don't have Olama, you can use OpenAI API compatible endpoints. So basically using the OpenAI API base URL. And here is an example. You can see here they are, as they are setting up uh, the default LLM. In your case, you can call it LM Studio, like I had here. And here they are creating an agent and assigning them with the LLM. So example agent, agent, his role is the example agent. The goal is to show how to assign a custom configured LLM. The backstory, you hang out in the docs section of GitHub repos. This is actually pretty funny. And then you assign the LLM. So you can, you can assign in, in Crew AI, you can assign, like in Autogen actually, you can assign different LLMs. But the point is that you just have to um, add this line of code to the top of your file. And then you need to uh, define your uh, model that you're going to use like this, in this manner. And you have here the documentation, one example, and you have another example over here. And I will share um, both of them in the show notes, uh, as you can see right here. Um, in general, if you guys don't know, um, if you don't have a lot of experience in GitHub, what I did in order to gather all this data, I just came to this to the different repositories, Crew AI, Autogen, etc., and I just wrote LM Studio. And once you write LM Studio, you are going to get all the instances uh, in which LM Studio is being mentioned. And then I just dive deeper into the into the docs, into the code, and I just organized everything over here, so it will be easy and convenient for you guys to follow and implement. <clears throat> That's it. Uh, short relatively short video about how to run um, locally Autogen, Crew AI, and Open Interpreter, which are at the moment my favorite frameworks for uh, conducting automations using AI. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed the video, if you find these uh, tutorials helpful. Um, there are also other YouTubers that are doing these tutorials and I guess they might be doing these uh, installation tutorials better than I do because I'm not that interested in the technical aspect of the installation. I'm more interested in automating uh, business and marketing initiatives. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the video. If you have um, ideas for upcoming videos, please let me know. Although I have a few very interesting videos coming up about real automations that I've built for clients of mine in Power Automate Desktop. And I want to see if I'm able to use these frameworks and implement the automations that I've built in Power Automate Desktop in these frameworks. So this will be like a, a series of uh, very interesting uh, videos in my opinion. But if you guys have anything else that uh, piques your curiosity that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comment section. Obviously, if you have any feedback regarding the video, was it too fast, too slow, and not enough information, too much information, shitty micro microphone, uh, shitty video quality, speaking too fast, speaking too slow, let me know. I love feedback and I try to improve um, based on your feedback. That's it. Obviously, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on automating.